Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderhold.glostomyart.com. Well, in the last video that would have posted, I believe, October 14th, I made this card or put it together um, for my dad for his honor flight. Well, I need to mail this to the organization so that he can get it. And it needs a big envelope, so I am going to use my one, two, three punch board. I like it because it has this arm that comes out and it's long enough to score my paper. And I am sacrificing, it's not a sacrifice, but I am using one of my, the last piece of my starry paper here to do this for my dad and he's worth it. You know you love someone when you're willing to use up your last piece of a favorite pattern of paper. Am I the only one that feels that way? I don't think so. I think that, <laughs> I think a lot of us do. We hang on to that stuff till the, there's just the perfect special reason to use it. So this card measures five and a half by, I think, eight and a half. Yep. I'm gonna pull this over. So you can see here, on this front cover on the inside, it gives you the dimensions for making an envelope. There's also the bow builder and um, the 3D box. And I use this a lot for dimensional boxes. Um, the bow thing I tried, didn't have a lot of success with it. I really like our bow dies that we had before and I still have them and I use those. So I am gonna use the six and a half by eight and a half inch measurement for my card size. It says to cut your paper to 11 and 7 eighths. Barb is not doing that. Barb is not going to cut off an eighth of an inch of paper. She's just going to leave that eighth of an inch there, and I think it'll be just fine. It says to punch and score at five and a quarter. So up here is your punch guide, and it's five and a quarter. It's real easy to see. I'm going to move the card out before I go bumping it onto the floor. So I've got it lined up here at the five and a quarter. You punch. And then on the inside track, so the inside of the two, so the one that kind of matches on the inside, you don't want to push too heavy handed. You will tear through your paper. So that is the last time you worry about this punch guide. From here on, all you're doing is lining up that score line with this envelope score groove. So you just tuck it in there and I eyeball center it, punch, and then again on that inside groove, you do your scoring. Rotate it, Again, center it. I punch first, then score. And then this is our last rotation to punch and score. Now I'm going to tuck that in and actually close this up. And on one of the big flaps, so you have a big flap and the smaller flaps. This is a side flap. So this I'm going to treat as my top flap. If you put it in here, it will round your corner. So you, I want that rounded corner. I don't worry about rounding the rest of them. I will let those be pointy. We'll get this stuff out of the way and I go around and I start moving that paper with my fingers and you just gently get it going. Once you feel that the paper has moved to its proper score spot, I bring in a bone folder. And you just work your way right around this card envelope. And this is a big one because it's a big card. And that's why I like having the ability to make my own. And this is the top flap. This is the one that's rounded. And I'm going to do a little, a little uh, burn 
garnishing there. And I can see here that this sticks up a little bit. And I think, I think this will work in here. I'm not sure. Oh yes, it will. So I can butt, butt that up to the top and I'm going to take off, mm, you want it to be square up there, good and solid. I've got my fingers on the guide here so my paper doesn't shift as I bring my handle down. I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Get that out of the way. The next thing I need to do is put some adhesive on here. I like to use score tape. Um, you could use liquid glue if you wanted to. You could use other types of tape runner. I think this is really nice and strong. I order it from I don't know, Amazon or something like that. And I just put it right up next to the edge of the bottom flap. So that flap that we just trimmed off. So you can see there that that's on. And all I'm going to do is peel back that release paper. You can use your scissors, you can use a pokey tool, fingernail, whatever works. And I am rubbing that down. And then I will need some on this top flap. You want to keep that next to the edge. And you can tear this tape. I just find that I get better results if I use my little scissors. And these are the non-stick scissors from Close to My Heart, so this, the adhesive does not gum them up. Okay, I've got that. And if I'm making an envelope in advance, I just leave it with that release paper on there and I can set it aside so that it's good to go when I'm ready to mail it. But let's give this a whirl and see how that works. And oh, that is lovely and perfect. Ready to mail. So excited. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a blessed crafty day. And I'll see you next time.